Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little review slash overview of the Lueve Flamenco. This is in the medium size in the chocolate color. And I've had this bag since the beginning of January, so not super long, but long enough to know that I am completely obsessed with it and I want more, I want more colors, I want more sizes. I want the purse flamenco. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, first of all, I did want to show you my nails. I did them myself. Um, I'm using a, it's called Maniology. It's basically a nail stamping kit and I can't get enough of it. It's super fun. Um, I did them myself so there are some mess ups so don't look too close, but yeah, I will, I actually have a code for 10% off your order. So I can put that information down below, but the code on maniology.com is Becca 10 off. That's B E C C A one zero O F F and you can get 10% off. So if you're interested, check that out and let's move on to the bag. So it is the softest leather I've ever felt in my entire life. I will just start off by saying that it is like butter. It is so soft. Um, if you can see any marks on it right now, I just went over the entire bag and I can't find a single scratch. There are some marks from like lotion, if like I've touched my face and gotten makeup on it, but you get a paper towel damp and it just wipes off. So for being so soft, the leather is incredibly durable. I literally don't have a scratch on this thing and it has been in my daily rotation since I got it. So exterior, it says Loewe and gold font on the front. I did want to mention I have the new version. I don't have the anagram on the corner. I did have a mini of the, I guess not the original version because they've made this bag for a long time, but the version made before this one, I did have the mini size in that version. I had gotten it pre-loved. I ended up selling it because it was too small. This is the perfect size for every day for me. So let's show you the interior. And before I get into the interior, I do have a bag organizer in here and I have it stuffed. So this is the bag organizer that I've been using. It's actually for my Louis Vuitton Neo Noe and it comes with two, so they go on each of the compartments, but it fits almost perfectly in here. It leaves a little bit of space, which I actually like because then I put my phone and my wallet on the side of it in the bag. But if you're interested in this organizer, it's just from Amazon. I can link that too. If you have any questions, just let me know. But it's been working great. Also, I was very devastated the other day. Opened my bag and there was a stain inside on the interior is suede. I will show you. And there is like an oil stain inside the bag. I don't know if you can see it. I tried to get it out. And I actually made it worse because it's suede. It's like if you get your Uggs wet and they kind of go a little bit crunchy, that is 100% what happens. So there's a stain in the bag. And I take such good care of my bag. So that was extremely devastating, especially because I've been using an organizer. So any like lip products or anything like that have been in here. Um, but I had a protein bar in here. The amazing gluten-free, dairy-free protein bars from Costco in here. And apparently the grease from the protein bar, the oil, I don't know, it's like from nuts or whatever it is, somehow got out of the packaging, out of the organizer and leaked into the inside of my bag. So that was a bummer, but nothing you can do about it. At least it's the inside. Inside the bag, it is like a suede, super soft lining. Um, it's just one big compartment. And then inside it says Lueve on this little stamp. I think it says made in Spain. Yes. And then you do have your date code stamped into the leather somewhere along the seam of where the lining attaches to the outer leather part. So very simple inside. And then of course the strap is detachable. There's two little D-rings inside where you can detach the strap. So you can use it as a clutch and I will show you that right now. And then it is a magnetic closure, which is a very strong, very satisfying, do you hear that? Very satisfying magnet. So let's take off the strap. Um, and then I will tell you the difference between the 
old version and this version is mainly that it no longer has the anagram logo. It has the gold stamped the way they on the front. Sorry, the strap is actually hard to get off sometimes. Um, and then the strap is much, much thicker than the old version. And it attaches by little clasps instead of before it was like leather that you looped through and there was a little, oh, I don't even know what you'd call it. Just a little peg that you poked the whole of the leather through over the peg. So this is the new version of the strap. I love this. It is so comfortable. It's adjustable and obviously comes off. And then, of course, you've got your knots so you can pull them, make it a little pouch. You can hold it by the knots or let's see if I can do it quickly. You can actually pull from these leather bits right here instead of the knots and then hold it like that. And if you pull it tight enough, you can actually put it on your wrist as like a little wristlet, which I think is cute. And it's so cute cinched. It's so cute uncinched. It is just a really, really great bag. Um, I haven't had any like wrinkling in the leather from cinching it or uncinching it. It's still pretty, pretty much the way that it was. And I think that's about it as far as the overview. Um, I'm happy to do a what fits. In fact, I will just go grab some things and show you different things that can fit. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just wanted to show you a couple of small things and show you when you pull both the knot and the knot, not the knot, <laughs> it is hard to kind of straighten it back out. So, okay, so here is the Rosalie coin purse from Louis Vuitton. I just wanted to show you smaller items so you can actually see the size of the bag that fits in there and there's like room for days. So it's definitely a medium sized bag for some people. It might even be a large size bag. I'm a medium sized bag daily carry kind of girl. And I think it is a good medium everyday size. Sunglasses, no problem. And then here's a couple larger items. So I don't think I've ever in my life carried an umbrella in my purse, but some people do. Here's a like collapsible umbrella. Fits in there. Great. Lengthwise, you've still probably got like four more inches. Uh, here is, everything's covered in dog hair as usual. Here is a Kindle Paperwhite. It's in no problem. It's really floppy without an organizer, which is another reason I've been using this. It kind of just keeps the base's shape. I've had many. Fits in no problem. Plenty of room for it to still close magnetically. And then here is a full size eight ounce lotion fits in no problem. So that is with an umbrella, that full size lotion, a Kindle, an iPad mini. We'll throw this back in. Rosalie coin purse, sunglasses. I would never carry all of this at the same time, but I'm just showing you for size comparison. Just fine. Magnet closes. Can cinch it up. So yeah, I think that's all there is to say about this bag. It is a very simple bag. It is beautiful. Again, softest leather ever. Uh, oh, I did want to know also that I know that they changed the glazing to match the color leather of the bag. Mine actually still has the black glazing, even though it's the new version of the bag, which I really like because then if I wanted to wear a black strap with it, I feel like it would match. Um, yeah, I think that's all. It's great for casual days. I love to take the strap off and use it as a clutch. I wore it to a wedding recently and I just feel like it easily transitions from casual to dressy and it's just so comfortable on. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer anything down below. And if you haven't subscribed, you better go ahead and do it and I'll see you in my next video.